After the events of Harvey Beardman and Krieger Margin 2, there was a couple other matches that happened on that evening, as well as a few more matches before we had moved on to the next televised RDW matchup. The other matches that happened on that night was also Venom versus Cosmos, with Cosmos making his RDW debut officially. When the cameras were turned off, Venom was able to make Cosmos tap out. Following that, Venom had also challenged Krieger Margin to a 1v1 match, to which Venom had got the win there, and he also had challenged Harvey Beardman to a 1-on-1 -on -one match right after that, and also got the win right there. So Venom had gained three wins after the events of this televised match. Following the couple weeks, we also had the final round of the RDW World Championship match tournament where Harvey Beardman faced off Banff Lesnar for the RDW World title. That matchup ended in a matter of seconds, and Banff Lesnar had become RDW's very first world champion. To which, in the same fashion as the Knights of Harvey Beardman vs. Krieger Margin 2, there were two other title defenses that same night, where Banff Lesnar had to defend his title against the likes of Venom and Krieger Margin, both in singles matchups to which Lesnar had won. And it came down to this point. We now have to figure out a number one contender for the RDW World Championship. The next matchup that we had televised was Venom versus Cosmos, where the winner on the same night faced Banff Lesnar for the RDW World Championship. <laughs> Thank you.